think one of my neighbors is doing a gallery wall. They've been like banging so much all morning. I don't know who would need to hammer in that much stuff. And like I had imagined myself going for a run this morning. And I don't know why I would imagine that because I haven't been running in like six months. But in my imagination, the sun was shining and I wouldn't be waking up by shitty neighbors. But in reality, the weather is like gray. Like there's no other way to describe it than just gray. And I have a headache and my neighbors are being annoying. So I don't think we're gonna go for a run, but I could do like just a bit of exercise now. Yeah, I think I'll do some ab workouts before breakfast. So I had breakfast, I just filmed a TikTok and I have a project I'm working on and I'm gonna work on that now but I hope to be done with that before the sun goes down so I can also do an apartment tour later. So the project I've been doing has made my place kind of chaotic so I'm gonna put it all back together now. Get in loser, we're doing an apartment tour and technically we could call it a room tour, but to me it doesn't feel like my room. It feels like my apartment because I have a fucking shower and a kitchen in here. So we're gonna call it an apartment tour and we're gonna do it like this. Fucking handhold because we're primitive. Like I live in nine square meters. We don't need a big setup. Actually, I'm standing against my front door. It has like weirdly three locks. Paris life. So you enter here. And of course there is my little wardrobe, which is actually like technical fixture shit behind that, but I just hang my coat on it. And I have my other coat and just some bags hanging there. Front door, wardrobe, kitchen. We have my fridge down here. One of the saddest things in the universe is really like a single fridge, but that's what it is. And up here, these are my only cupboards. Cupboards? Cupboards? What do you call that? I don't know. These are my only one of these. And I have to keep all my kitchen stuff in there. So it's like a mess, really a mess, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Also that, I have a big box of pasta because I couldn't fit it anywhere else, but and that's life. It's so smart. The kitchen also doubles as skincare station. So all of that shit over there is like my skincare and stuff. And from the kitchen, if you turn around and go past the wardrobe and the front door, we have the little shoe rack down there with all of my shoes. And then the bed is just right here. That's my little friend. He's called Dilefra. Very cute boy. Been with me since I was born. We've been to the Caribbean together. And we're roomies here, so it's okay. And my little library and those are my sandals desperately waiting for summer. And then again, from the bed, you can turn around, go past all of this, the kitchen. And what do we have there? My closet. And again, it's a small space. There's no cute way to do this. I'm lucky I have this much closet space, but it's still a mess. But I manage, it's okay. Under my bed, I have like rollers where I can keep extra stuff that I don't wear that often. So like all of my hats and gloves and scarves and that stuff is under my bed. From the closet, you can go directly to the shower. And yes, this is my shower in the middle of everything. So you have the kitchen right there and the shower right there. And it's very practical, all of it. And it's also so nice when you have guests over that you can like, fully see them shower but it's actually quite spacious like it's okay like you can manage it's difficult to shave your legs in there i must say but i don't do that that often so i'm okay it's it's okay next to the shower my corner of chaos like it's literally everything that i didn't know where to put I have my all of my creative stuff like watercolors and pencils and so then I have like my sex toys and my period stuff, my curlers, some nail polish remover and my yoga mat. 
this little table holds my hair stuff and my jewelry. It's actually not a table, it has like um, drawers. And this is where I keep my underwear and extra beauty stuff and I don't know, papers. I have a lot of papers in there. And then here on the shower, I have this travel thing that is really convenient for keeping all of my makeup. So it's just all of my makeup in here. And from the corner of chaos, we're actually at the end. Like, that's the window. Really happy about having like a big window like that. It changes the room a lot. Oh, and also there's no building in front of me. And when I lay in my bed, I can actually only see sky. It's very surreal for me to only see sky when I lay in my bed. I've been in so many Parisian apartments where you look like right into a wall when you look out the window. So this is like worth everything. Under my window, I have this table, which can like fold out. It's broken right now, but I'm planning on fixing it. Then I have that table and I have a chair and I have my only heating. And this place gets so cold. So like that one is on full all the time. And then, I don't know, it's just like the only decor, decor. The only decor I have in here. Please don't take this ap apartment as inspiration. Or you could, I don't know, but it's just not very me. And I didn't pick out any of the stuff in here. I had no choices. This was just how it was. And this is what I'm living with. And I don't want to spend money on fixing up a place that's not really mine. And if you want to see like my style and how I would like to live. You can go on my Pinterest, I'll link it. This is my little wall. It's very chaotic. It has all sorts of stuff. So first of all, there are of course like pictures of my friends and me as a kid and those are my grandparents and my mom when I was just born, my dad. But it also has like this weird little Indian kid from a restaurant I went to, a bar I go to, an escort service, a disco ball. Personal favorite up there, my old IUD. And it's just like a mix of weird stuff. Also that guy, he's drinking wine, having a great time. And he looks just like the dog I have back at my parents' place. It's like, it could be him, it's so great. And actually now we're back at the bed. So that was like the entire tour. I'm actually quite happy here. It's very small. Oh yeah, the toilet is in the hall. I think I've showed that before on here somewhere. But yeah, the toilet is in the hall. So that's like the only thing where I'm a bit... Um, but it's actually... It's okay living here. I'm so happy that I have my own place. I know a lot of au pairs live in the houses of their families. So I was very happy that I found this family where they were offering me this apartment. So all in all, I'm actually quite content here. It's not that cute. But it's, it's very effective and there's not that much to clean. So it's nice, nice and easy. So the sun goes down in less than an hour and I haven't left my apartment at all today. And since that's probably not that healthy, I'm gonna go for a stupid walk. And it's gonna be cold and it's gray outside and it might rain, but I need to go for a walk. It's actually not that late now, it's just dark outside, but Paris, winter, that's it. And I think I'll spend my evening just 
cooking some easy food and editing this video and another little project that I'm working on. So I'm actually just gonna do that. Wait, let me pour a glass of wine. I'm actually doing really good. Like I've been bleeding for a month now, but I've been good at taking my iron, been good at eating my oranges. And I can definitely feel my energy coming back, like I'm able to do normal people stuff now and it's really really nice not being like completely exhausted all the time. So actually I'm doing really good and cheers to that and cheers to random shit.